Welcome back to the Select Series. Dan, first off, um, what are some of the just different product lines that we have to offer in terms of a sex product? Yeah, so some of the product lines we've got available, sexed male semen is an option, sexed female semen is an option as well, and several different bowls as well, several bowls in different breeds as options to use with sex semen. You can use that in combination with conventional semen on your breeding program, kind of depending what your objectives are for, for that year or for that, you know, that, that herd. At Select Sires, we've seen a, a, an increase in the use of sex semen over the last two years, and we continue to see that, that interest grow. The market is kind of dictating that, where we can kind of be a little more precise in terms of what females we maybe breed for a certain purpose and the use of male semen to create more males and, and ultimately um, increase profitability. Yep. If you've got a herd and you know you need to generate you know, this many heifers as far as replacements, you know, you can use gender selected semen in that scenario, maybe identify the key maternal group of your herd or, and identify those elite young females that you want females out of from a, from a reproduction management standpoint, but also from a generation of replacement females in the future, but also the option of using maybe a male sex sort of product on as a terminal solution or using a, a cross breeding program to generate terminal type genetics um, that you will use, you know, through the feedlot or, or growing situation. How do we use the sex product in the field or what are some of our recommendations in terms of timing of insemination yep. and the use of the sex semen? Yeah, so with, with sex semen, it's a little more susceptible to timing of insemination, like you mentioned. So, so if you're using sex sorted semen, ideally you want to use it with a heat detection program to help you identify those females that truly are showing heats. And then using that in inseminating cows probably 16 to 18 hours after the onset of estrus and being out there on a frequent basis to identify when they do start to show heat. So you can time that more specifically with the sex sorted product. And obviously for some operations, being precise at that 16 to 18 hours may not be ideal given the, the timing of when um, estrus starts. But I think probably the biggest thing to keep in mind is waiting a little longer than breeding earlier is, is probably a better strategy when using sex semen. Yes, yes. With sex semen, that's, that's definitely the case. You know, waiting a little bit longer than you typically would. Typically, conventional semen, you're breeding 12 hours after, after you see a female in heat. But with sex semen, you're more 16 to 18. So error on the later side would be a better suggestion with sex semen. Mm -hmm.